So this question is a diagram question. We see the picture provided here for us. It looks like a semicircle. Um, we'll read the question to see what information we've been provided with. The question says segments OA and OB are radii of the semicircle above. So that just means that they are equal, right? If they're both radii, they must be the exact same length. Arc AB has length 3 pi. So I'm going to label this with 3 pi here. And OA is 5, so that means I'm going to label this with 5, but I'm also going to label OB as 5 because, again, they are the same. They're both radii. What is the value of X? All right, so there is a relationship between a central angle and arc length. And it's a proportional relationship. Basically, what we're saying is this angle here is some fraction, some part of the length of a full circle or the angle degree measurement of a full circle, which is 360 degrees, right? So x degrees is some part. This x over 360 is really what we're dealing with here as a proportion. And this is going to be equal to the proportion that 3 pi represents of the entire circumference, 2 pi r. So hopefully this makes sense. This is a fraction based upon, or ratio, based upon the degree measurement, and this is our ratio based upon our circumference, right? But these two things should be related to each other. So how do I find the answer to this? Well, I know that R is equal to 5. I was provided with that information. So this becomes X over 360 equals 3 pi over 2 pi R. R is 5, so 2 pi times 5 would be 10 pi. Now I can cancel out my pi's because pi divided by pi is 1. So what I'm left with is this proportion here where I can cross multiply. And I'd end up with 10x is equal to 1080, right? 360 times 3. I can then divide both sides by 10. Get rid of that 0, get rid of this. And I'm left with x equals 108 degrees. So there's your answer, 108. So this is very valuable to remember. And hopefully it makes a lot of sense because as, let me just erase this, as these points get closer together, you change the portion of the circumference that this arc represents. And you also close up this angle that creates that arc. There is always a proportional relationship between the central angle and the arc that it creates. And this is how you find that proportional relationship. You focus on the ratio of the central angle to the entire degree measurement for a circle, which is always 360, being equal to the arc length versus the entire circumference.